Kuwaiti reported four new cases today, its highest number since early January. The new cases will be part of tomorrow's statewide count. The recent surge comes as Kuwaiti gets set to rejoin the Safe Travels program on Monday. Nikki Schenfeld continues our coverage. After months of requiring visitors to stay in a resort bubble and take a second COVID-19 test, Kauai will rejoin the state's safe travels program. That was the whole game plan from day one was to be able to get as much people vaccinated as possible, get our you know most impacted employees and vulnerable population vaccinated. Mayor Kawakami says the island has upped its contact tracing, hospitals have added capacity, and additional ICU beds are in place. He says he's mindful of the statewide uptick. We're concerned, but we're in a better place, and it's going to require the community to continue to do what they've been doing. And we're trying to strike a balance of maintaining public health and safety and making sure that the wheels of our economy continue to turn and we can move forward. Some business owners have mixed feelings after a year of shutdowns. Certainly, we're excited to have the visitors come back uh, from a business standpoint, but we're also all concerned about the number of cases that might come along with that. And as a sidebar from that, you know, we're concerned that the mayor might shut us down again if the cases get too high. And honestly, I don't know whether our business or many of the other businesses around can sustain themselves if there's another shutdown. Kawakami says if cases start to rise, the island's tier system will kick in, putting restrictions on certain businesses and gatherings. If we get to a level of concern where we feel it's necessary to opt out, we're going to have a really hard look at it because it's not our intent. He says there will also be many reminders for everyone to wear a mask. On Kauai, people will speak their mind if they don't see something that sits well because, you know, it's about respect. You know, Kauai, on Kauai, respect is a huge thing. Visitors who take a free voluntary COVID test three days after they arrive will get discounts at over 70 businesses on Kauai. And hotels are offering voluntary post-arrival testing, too. The Kauai Visitors Bureau says five additional mainland flights will be arriving daily starting Monday. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.